Kanya kanya yung trip lang yun guys eh Alam nyo Kanya War This is Sparta Alright, here we go again gamers, what's up? Here we are again for another game review. This time, we are going to review the game called A3 Still Alive. Published by Netmarble, which is known to be one of the publishers who likes to have the VIP system or the so-called pay-to-win system model of a mobile game or of a mobile MMORPG. Yes, this game is available on your smartphones, may it be Android or iOS. You can download the game as it has been released on November 10, 2020. Okay, so, alam ko, yes, may limang classes to, Berserker, Templar, um, Wizard, Assassin, and Archer. Ayos! Alright, so we're going to grade this game, um, each aspect of it, as 5 is the highest and 1 is the lowest. Now, just a disclaimer, this is my own view, or personal view of the game, and how I was able to experience it firsthand. So let's begin. Let's start with graphics. As experienced with the highest settings my blue stacks can take, I can say that the game environment is well detailed, like the armors, weapons, skills, animations, and the mobs. Yung feeling na may pagka-realistic approach ang game environment, as you can see on the grass, trees, lightings, and shadows. Hindi trying hard yung graphics niya eh, kung mapapansin nyo. Also, the character customizations has more options compared sa mga nalaro natin na games before. I can say na pwede mo talaga ma-personalize yung mukha ng avatar mo just the way you like it. So my rating for the graphics is 4.5. UI or user interface. Ang medyo negative side para sa akin sa UI, sa A3 Still Alive, or sa game na to, yung uh, font size and spacing ng text. It's almost occupying a large portion of your screen. And ang daming icons sa paligid kung mapapansin nyo, top and uh, bottom. So, or pwede naman na uh, siguro yan, uh, pwede ni itan lang ang konti ang size. Be advised that I tried to look for an option in the settings to adjust the UI, but there is none. So if you're able to find it, kung saan pwede adjust yung UI size, please comment down below. Yung skills tab sa lower right, kung mapapansin nyo, nakain nyo na yung uh, half portion ng extreme right side of the screen. Kung pwede pa sana din siyang liitan lang kahit konti lang, for me that would be better for us to enjoy the uh, environment dahil maganda ang graphics ng A3 still alive. So my rate for the UI is 3. User interface, medyo malalaki yung text in which ito na lang yung mag-view mo sa character mo, this square. Siguro puro na siya text, puro na siya interface dito. Kung pwede sana niitan nila yung text, skills tab, mga pictures dito ni Soul Linker, Battle Royale, sana um, dito na lang nila ilagay yan. Saka yung mga dito, isang click lang ang dito na lahat. Storyline. Every game has a unique lore or storyline. And as experience sa game na ito, astig ang mga cinematics. I wasn't able to follow the main quest kasi syempre, alam mo na, Puro skip yung ginawa ko, but seemingly, medyo nag-enjoy ako sa progression niya. 
through the cinematics nga. So for the storyline, I give it a 4.5 because of its own uniqueness. Sabi ko nga, every game naman, unique yung mga storyline niya eh. So alam ko na pinag-isipan pinag naman ito ng uh, mga developers, ng uh, kanilang mga writers siguro kung paano nila ipoprogress yung story. So I give it a 4.5. Bira kasi ako mag-enjoy talaga sa mga cinematics and the storylines. But here in A3 Still Alive, I enjoy the cinematics. Thanks to your F Combat system. One thing I noticed during the boss fight is the boss skill mechanics. Yung skill ng boss na may direction, yung uh, may meron siyang hit kung saan siya tatama, in which dapat ka mag-avoid or dodge para hindi ka tamaan, di ba? The problem with dodging is you are unable to control the direction of evasion. Lahat pa atras lang. As experienced with the archer, but I'm not sure sa ibang class dahil hindi ko pa nalaro yung ibang class. Target system is the nearest available target or you can click kung anong mobs ang gusto mong i-target. The usual click and spam skills system sa mga mobile MMORPG. Also, while attacking, you can have uh, or you can get a bonus stats when you reach 40 continuous hits or commonly called as combo. Siyempre, hindi mawawala sa mga mobile MMORPG ang auto-attack and auto-pack for AFK grinding and of course convenience na rin. While I have not yet experienced the PvP, so for now, ang rate ko for the combat system of the game is 3.5. Hindi ko makontrol yung ano niya, yung evasion niya. Click mo lang siya dapat, talagang aatras lang siya, wala siyang direction. Pwede bang i-click? Ah, oh, pwede i-click. Ayun. Ayan, no. Oh. Hindi ko siya makontrol yung evasion niya, guys. Talagang i-click mo lang siya. Camera view. What better way to enjoy the graphics of the game than to gain control of your camera view, of course. For me, importante ang camera view to enjoy this game. Lalo na na this is an open world or open uh, open map adventure game. Unfortunately, this game has a fixed camera angle. Para sa akin, isa to sa downside ng uh, game. Mas prefer ko pa din yung uh, 360 degree camera view to see where I'm going. And of course, enjoy the scenery sometimes. So, kung makikita nyo sa Battle Royale nila, isa sa mga PvP mode ng game na to, um, in any direction, at any time, pwede kang maatake doon mismo sa um, parang um, gladiator arena nila para sa Battle Royale. So, for a squishy class like an archer or mage, it's kind of a disadvantage. Kasi, um, kung fix yung camera angle mo, um, you have to adjust and you have to position na hindi ka tamaan ng uh, kalaban or ng attacker mo. So, if you only have a 360 degree camera angle, pwede mo siyang mahanap, mahanapan ng uh, blind spot or location pwede ka para mag-position ka and uh, to um, gain the upper hand and uh, syempre makaka-counter attack mo yung attacker mo. However, with this game, it's a fixed camera angle. Um, siguro, adjust-adjust uh, na lang sa PvP mode sa Battle Royale. Yun na lang siguro. So, for this, I'm going to give a 2 rating para sa camera view. Ayan, so pag ikaw na lang yung natira, ikaw yung uupo dyan sa trono. <laughs> Ganun pala yun. Gameplay. This includes, of course, the gear enhancements and gear progression of the game. Hindi sayang ang enhancement mo sa gears kasi pwede mo siya i-transfer to a better gear sa game na to. And of course, hindi mawawala ang gear grades or rarity ng item. Questionable na lang ang uh, drop rate nito or on how you can obtain the most um, rare item or gear sa game na to. Mount. I don't think Do you see that this game has a mount. 
kasi wala akong nakitang tab or window for mounts. Pet or soul linkers as so called in this game. You can collect as much as you want and this will greatly boost your combat power. May mga grades din ang soul linkers depending on their rarity. You can get rare souls from the gacha system of course. RNG na naman. Dungeons are existent in this game like the shield and mine and you can unlock more as you reach top level. PvP, something new in this game is the battle arena or uh, the battle royale. You can team up with two more with two more players for a three-man party and participate in a battle royale match. So this is something new to offer na PvP mode. Magrambulan kayo dun sa um, battle royale. Card system. You can collect monster cards and register them to your codex to gain bonus stats. So for me, the gameplay of this game is four. Humans call the breath. So let's do a recap. The graphics 4.5, UI or user interface is 3, Starline 4.5, Combat System 3.5, Camera View 2, Gameplay 4. And my overall rating for A3 Still Alive is 3.5. Again, this is my own personal experience of the game and my own opinion or view. Ika nga, kanya-kanyang trip lang yan. Thank you for watching. See ya.